Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed are thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed are thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed are thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed are thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed are thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed are thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed are thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed are thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. Oh my Jesus,
Good morning. Good Please morning. stand and let us pray together the transition prayer. Heavenly Father, Heavenly Father we thank you for gathering us together and calling us to serve as our disciples. You have charged us through your Son, Jesus, and his shepherds with a great mission of evangelizing and witnessing your love to the world. Send your Holy Spirit to guide us as we discern your will for the spiritual renewal of our parish communities. Give us strength, courage, and clear vision as we use our gifts to serve you. We entrust our parish families to the care of Mary, our mother, and ask for her intercession and guidance as we strive to bear witness to the gospel, celebrating the qualities of its faith-filled community, and together building an engaging parish. Amen. Let us build a house where love can dwell and all can safely live. A place where saints and children tell how hearts learn to forgive. Build of hopes and dreams and visions, rock of faith and vault of grace. Hear the love of Christ, hell and division. All are welcome, all are welcome, all are welcome in this place. Let us build a house where love and sweet and words of strong and Name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. And, and with your spirit. spirit. Good morning. Good morning, Father. Let's begin our celebration by calling to mind our sins. Lord Jesus, you will stand to heal the contrary heart. Lord, have mercy. Lord, Lord have, have mercy. You came to call sinners. Christ have mercy. Christ have mercy. You are seated at the right hand of the Father and intercede for us. Lord, have mercy. Lord, Lord have, have mercy. mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us all our sins, and lead us to everlasting life. Amen. Amen. Let us pray. Almighty and merciful God, who made the priest, St. John, Vianney, wonderful in his pastoral seal, grant we pray that through his intercession and example, we may in charity win brothers and sisters for Christ and attain with them eternal glory through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. Amen. A reading from the book of Numbers. The Lord said to Moses in the desert of Paran, send men to reconnoiter the land of Canaan, which I am giving the children of Israel. You shall send one man from each of each ancestral tribe, all of them princes. 
After reconnoitering the land for 40 days, they returned, met Moses and Aaron and the whole congregation of the children of Israel in the desert of Paran and Kadesh, made a report to them all, and showed the, showed the fruit of the country to the whole congregation. They told Moses, we went into the land to which you sent us. It does indeed flow with milk and honey, and here is its fruit. However, the people who are living in the land are fierce, and the towns are fortified and very strong. Besides, we saw descendants of the Anakim there, Amalekites, live in the region of the Nicub, Hittites, Tupisites, and Amorites dwell in the highlands, and Canaanites along the sea coast and the banks of Jordan. Caleb, however, to quiet the people toward Moses, said, We ought to go up and seize the land for we can certainly do so. But the men who had gone up with him said, we cannot attack these people. They are too strong for us. So they spread discouraging reports among the children of Israel about the land they had scouted, saying, the land that we explore is the country that consumes its inhabitants and all the people we saw there are huge, veritable giants. The Anakim were a race of giants. We felt like mere grasshoppers, and so we must have seemed to them. At this, the whole community broke out with loud cries, and even in the night the people wailed. The Lord said to Moses and Aaron, how long will this wicked assembly crumble against me? I have heard the crumblings of the children of Israel against me. Then tell, by my life, says the Lord, I will do to you just what I have heard you say. Here in the desert shall your dead bodies fall. Forty days you spend in scouting the land. Forty years shall you suffer for your crimes, one year for each day. Thus you will realize what it means to oppose me. I, the Lord, have sworn to this, to do this, to all this wicked assembly that cons conspired against me. Here in the desert, they shall die to the last man. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Responsorial Psalm. Remember us, O Lord, as you favor your people. Remember, Remember us, us, O Lord, Lord as, as you favor your people. people. We have sinned, we and our fathers. We have committed crimes. We have done wrong. Our fathers in Egypt considered not your wonders. Remember, Remember us, O Lord. Lord. But soon they forgot his works. They waited not for his counsel. They gave way to craving in the desert and tempted God in the wilderness. Remember us, O Lord, us to favor your people. They forgot the God who had saved them, who had done great deeds in Egypt, wondrous deeds in the land of Ham, terrible things at the Red Sea. Remember, Remember us, us, O Lord, Lord as you favor your people. Then he spoke to exterminating them, but Moses, his chosen one, withstood him in the bridge to turn back his destructive wrath. Remember us, O Lord, as you favor your people. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia.
great prophet has arisen in our midst, and God has visited his people. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Glory to you, o Lord. At that time, Jesus withdrew to the region of Tyre and Sidon. And behold, a Canaanite woman of that district came and called out, have pity on me, Lord, son of David. My daughter is tormented by a demon. But he did not say a word in answer to her. His disciples came and asked him, send her away, for she kept, keeps calling out after us. He said in reply, I was sent only to the lost sheep of the house of Israel. But the woman came and did him homage, saying, Lord, help me. He said in reply, It is not right to take the food of the children and throw it to the dogs. He said, Please, Lord, for even the dogs eat the scraps that fall from the table of their masters. Then Jesus said to her in reply, O oh woman, great is your faith. Let it be done for you as you wish. And her daughter was healed from that hour. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Once again, I'd like to do the invocation of the Holy Spirit. Would you like to help me? Just repeat after me. Come, Holy Spirit. Come Holy Spirit. Come Holy Spirit. Holy Spirit come. Holy Spirit come. Amen. Amen. Once again, the, the Word of God keep talking to us about the importance of having faith. Having faith in God, having faith in Jesus Christ, His only begotten Son, who has come to us to reveal all the glory, all the power, all the mercy and compassion of his heavenly Father to us. And this, the first reading and the whole history of Israel revealed to us that when it comes about the Israelites, the people of God, the, the people that God chosen to be his son, it's a history of uh, doubting in the power of God, a history of uh, complaining for everything that they are going through, so when it comes about the chosen people of God, the, 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 the group of people that God has chosen is not that very good a picture of them. It's not a very good picture of the Israelites or the people who are waiting for God to reveal himself as he is. Because those people, even when they experience in the history of salvation, all the great things that God has done for, for them, when, when from the beginning, when God called Abraham out of his country and promised that he will become a father of a great nation, and he did that, he made him to, to have a child, and, and the way that God 
take the, his people from slavery, from Egypt with a great power, and protect them. And now we hear in the first reading that they are about to enter the promised land, the, the Israel, the, um, the land of Israel. And before they go into the, the land, they became very uh, desperate because they saw the people who are in the land. And as, as they recall, as we recall in the first reading, it says, it's people like giants. We look like grasshoppers among them. And they start crying out again. They forgot all the great things that God has done for them in their past. And facing uh, uh, something in their present, they start doubting about the power of God. They start doubting about the help that God promised to them. So it was a very typical thing uh, from, the, from the Israelites, from the people of God, to not be 100% sure about who the power that God promised to them. And the same thing may happen to us, the same thing may happen. God has done great things for our community, for our family, for our nation. And as soon as we face something, a, a crisis, a illness, we may start doubting about, is God is going to help me? Is God is going to make his promise fulfilled that he's going to take care of me, I'm going to be secure? It's part of, probably it's part of human nature that we doubt. But in the, in, the first, in the Gospel reading, we have a beautiful story of a person who has a strong faith. And that person is not even from the community of God. That person is not part of the Israelites. It's someone who, who hears about Jesus and, and she, know, she sees Jesus for the first time and she's completely amazed about what Jesus is able to do and she follows him begging for help. She probably didn't know about the great things that God has done before in the past for the Israelites, but the only thing she knows is about Jesus Christ and his power, and, and she believes in him and put her faith fully in Jesus Christ. And the way that Jesus is um, talking to the woman is just to give us an example about, just to show us how much he how much uh, he's willing to do for his people. But at the same time, he's treating this woman kind of a little bit of rude, but just to give us an example of uh, what a strong faith Jesus has found in this particular woman. <coughs> and Jesus said to her very clearly and very plain, women, I'm here to help the Israelites. I'm here to help the people of Canada. I make a promise to them. It's not right that I help somebody else. It's not right that I can, instead of giving my protection, my love to them, it's not right to give it to somebody else. And he even used the word, very, because that's part of the culture of Israel, in Israel, to use examples of, a, uh, to use um, like animals, like plants. And Jesus said, it's not right to use the food for, for the children and to give it to the, to the dogs. And the woman, instead of getting upset and angry with Jesus Christ, she said, Lord, but even the dogs, they eat what is left, what comes from the table. They even feed with that. They even take that. And then Jesus Christ used her as an example for the people at that time and used her as an example for us, as a good example of a person with great faith. Uh, by saying, women, what you face is great. You have a great faith. And because of your faith, because of her faith, her daughter became cured. So once again, we are, we are here to, we are hearing from the word of God that don't lose your, don't lose your faith in Jesus Christ. Keep up your faith. Don't lose, don't become disappointed and angry for what is going on. God is bigger than anything we face. God is bigger than any problem, any illness, any crisis. But you have to believe in that in order that God make 
be, will be able to do great things for us. Amen. Let us offer our prayers to God. For the Holy Father and all who serve the church, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For nations striving to find the lost and feed the hungry, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all those who seek wisdom and the Lord's word. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For first responders and caregivers. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For love and tolerance and understanding in our community. Let us pray to the Lord, Lord, Lord hear our our prayer. Prayer. for all those who have died, especially Victoria Borge, Rostia Page, that they may enjoy the fullness of God's heavenly glory. Let us pray to the Lord, Lord, Lord hear our prayer. prayer, for the repose of the soul of Victoria Borge, Rostia, Baku. Page, Lanu, Naf, Nafahu, and all souls for whom this match is being offered. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. We offer now our personal intentions. For these and all the prayers enter in our book of prayer, and those that are held in our hearts. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Heavenly Father, we ask all of this in the name of Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation. To your goodness we have this bread to offer, which God has given and human hands have made. 
it will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation. To your goodness, we have this wine to offer. Fruit of the vine and work of human hands, it will become for us our spiritual life. Blessed be God forever. Lord God, watch your way up. Pray, my brothers and sisters, our sacrifice may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord Lord accept sacrifice at your hands hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and good of our holy church. church. Graciously sanctify these gifts, O Lord, we pray, and accepting the oblation of this spiritual sacrifice, make of us an eternal offering to you, to Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. And And with your spirit. Live up your hearts. We We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks. Father most holy to you, beloved Son, Jesus Christ, your word to whom you may all things whom you sent as our Savior and Redeemer, incarnated by the Holy Spirit and born of the Virgin, fulfilling your will and gaining for you a holy people, he stretched out his hands as he endured his passion, so as to break the bonds of death and manifest the resurrection. And so with the angels and all the saints, we declare your glory as with one voice we acclaim. Holy, 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 holy Lord, God of hosts, Heaven and earth are full of your glory, Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord, Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. May holy therefore these gifts we pray, by sending down your spirit upon them like the dew fall, so that it may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body which will be given up for you. similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples saying, take this all of you and drink from it, for this is a chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church, spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity. Together with Francis, our Pope, and Paul, our Bishop, and all the clergy, remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection. And all who have died in your mercy, welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with the Blessed Apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, 
We may merit to be coerced to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. To him, with him, and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our, Our Father, Father, who art in heaven, heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy, thy kingdom, kingdom come, come, thy, thy will be done, on earth, earth as it is in heaven. heaven. Give, Give us this day our daily bread, bread and, and forgive us our trespasses, trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil, graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the kingdom and the power and the and glory are yours, yours now, now and forever. forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you, Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, Lord I'm not worthy. You should enter under my roof, but only say the word that my soul shall be healed. Christ. The body of Christ. 
điều thánh chúa kỳ tổ body of Christ. We are one body. The body of Christ. The body of Christ. The body of Christ. One The body of Christ. One Lord of all, one cup of blessings which we bless, and we thought many throughout the earth. We are one body in this one Let us pray. Accompany with constant protection, O Lord, those you renew with these heavenly gifts, and in your never failing care for them, make them worthy of eternal redemption through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. And, and with your spirit. spirit. May the blessing of the Almighty God, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Let us continue to glorify the Lord by our life. Thanks, Thanks be, be to, to God. God. Loving and forgiving are you, O Lord. Slow to anger, rich in kindness, loving and forgiving are you all my being bless the lord bless the holy name of god all my being bless the lord remembering the goodness of god loving and forgiving are you Loving and forgiving are you. 
Before the benediction today, I would like to inform you a couple of things that you might and might not know. First, uh, yes, we have the benediction every Wednesday. However, on the first Wednesday of the month, we use a different and longer form of format. Uh, the first half is the benediction. The second half is the novena to St. Joseph. We all know that there are nine days with different prayers intention in novena. We began the novena in March, first Wednesday in March, and will be ending on the first Wednesday in November. So today is the sixth day of novena. So you'll be hearing a special prayers intentions for this month, which is a patron of family. In addition, we pray the litany of St. Joseph on the first Wednesday of the month. So therefore, the session is already long, so I, I won't be sharing the reflection on the gospel on every first Wednesday of the month. And the second thing is uh, uh, the gift of the plena indulgence is granted to the faithful who shall recite any prayer legitimately approve or act of piety in honor of St. Joseph, like we are doing here today. So according to the Latin tradition, Every Wednesday, the day is dedicated to St. Joseph, the, uh, the memories of him. So it's kind of a special day on Wednesday. That's why you know, I chose you know, to be here on Wednesday to celebrate the benediction with you uh, since uh, uh, March of this year. So, so you know what we are doing. Uh, so through the intercession of St. Joseph, may you all be blessed with great joy and love today and all the days of your life. So let us begin the benediction. Please kneel and prepare ourselves in silent for benediction.
Lord Jesus, you have come, we have come to you this hour to worship you. And we believe that you are present in the blessed sacrament. We praise you, we adore you, and we give you thanks for everything that we have and we are. Amen. Please stand and listen to the words of God. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Glory to you, Lord. At that time, Jesus withdrew from the region of Tyre and Sidon. And behold, a Canaanite woman of that district came and called out, Have pity on me, Lord, son of David. My daughter is tormented by a demon. But he did not say a word in answer to her. His disciples came and asked him, Send her away, for she keeps calling out after us. He said in reply, I was sent only to the lost sheep of the house of Israel. But the woman came and did him homage, saying, Lord, help me. He said in reply, It's not right to take the food of the children and throw it to the dogs. He said, Please, Lord, for even the dogs eat the scrap that fall from the table of their masters. Then Jesus said to her in reply, O woman, great is your faith. Let it be done for you as you wish. And her daughter was healed from that hour. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Please join me in prayer from Psalm 86. Incline your ear, Lord, and answer me, for I am poor and oppressed. Reserve my life, for I am devoted. Save your servant, servant who trusts trust in, in you. You are my God. Be gracious to me, Lord. To you I call all the day. Gladden, Gladden the, soul the soul of your servant. Of your servant. To, you, to you, Lord, I lift up my soul. soul. Lord, you are good and forgiving most merciful to all who call on you. Lord, Lord hear, hear my, my prayer. prayer. Listen, Listen to, to my, my cry for help. help. On the day of my distress, I call to you, for you will answer me. None, None of the gods, the gods can equal you, you, Lord, Lord nor can, can their deeds compare to yours. All the nations you have made shall come, to bow before you, Lord, and give honor to your name. For you are great and do wondrous deeds, and you alone are God. Teach me, Lord, your way that I may walk in your truth, single-hearted and revering your name. I will praise you with all my heart, glorifying your name forever, Lord my God. Your mercy to me is great. You have rescued me from the death of Sheol. O oh God, the, the Aryan has risen, risen against, against me. me. A ruthless man which sought, sought my, my life. life. To, to you, you they, they, pay pay no they pay no heed. But you, Lord, are compassionate and gracious God, slow to anger, 
abounding in mercy and truth. Turn to me, be gracious to me. Give, give your strength to your servant. Say the son of your handmaid. Give me a sign of your favor. Make my enemies see to their confusion that you, Lord, help and comfort me. Please kneel. Let us pray. O oh God, you gave us this wonderful sacrament at the memorial of your passion. Grant us, we pray, so to reveal the sacred mystery of your body and blood that we may always experience in ourselves the fruits of your redemption. Who live and reign with God the Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Please join me in the divine praise. Blessed be God. Blessed be God. Blessed be His holy name. Blessed be His holy name. Blessed be Jesus Christ, true God and true man. Blessed be Jesus Christ, true God and true man. Blessed be the name of Jesus. Blessed be the name of Jesus. Blessed be His most sacred heart. Blessed be his most precious blood. Blessed be his most precious blood. 
Blessed be Jesus in the most holy sacrament of the altar. Blessed be Jesus in the most holy sacrament of the altar. Blessed be the Holy Spirit, the Paraclete. Blessed be the Holy Spirit, the Paraclete. Blessed be the Great Mother of God, Mary most holy. Blessed be her holy and immaculate conception. Blessed be her holy and immaculate conception. Blessed be her glorious assumption. Blessed be her glorious assumption. Blessed be the name of Mary, virgin and mother. Blessed be the name of Mary, virgin and mother. Blessed be Saint Joseph, her most chaste spouse. Blessed be God in his angels and his saints. Blessed be God in his angels and his saints. stand for the veneration of St. Joseph. to the reflection on the role of St. Joseph. Patron of families, St. Joseph, venerate you as a gentle head of the Holy Family. The Holy Family was the sense of your life's work in its origin, in its guidance, and in, and in its protection, in your labor for Jesus and Mary, and even in your death in their arms. You live, move, and act in a loving company of Jesus and Mary. The inspired writer described your life at Nazareth in only a few words, and Jesus went down with them and came to Nazareth and was subject to them. Luke 2, verse 51. Yet these words tell of your high vocation here on earth an abundance of graces which filled your soul during those years spent in Nazareth. Your family life at Nazareth was our radiance with the lights of divine charity. There was an intimate union of heart and mind among the members of your holy family. There could not have been a closer bond 
Then that uniting you to Jesus, your foster son, and to Mary, your most loving wife. Jesus chose to fulfill toward you, his foster father, all the duties of the faithful son, showing you every mark of honor and affection due to, the, due to a parent. And Mary showed you all the signs of respect and love of a devoted wife. You responded to his love and adoration from Jesus and Mary with feelings of the deepest love and respect. You had for Jesus a true fatherly love and, and kindly and keep a glow in your heart for the, ho for the Holy Spirit. And you could not cease to admire the workings of grace in Mary's soul and this admiration caused the holy love which you had consecrated to her on the day of your wedding grow stronger every day. God has made you a heavenly patron of family life because you sanctify yourself as head of the holy family and thus by your beautiful example sanctify family life. How peacefully and happily the Holy Family rested under the care of your fatherly rule, even in the midst of trials. You were the protector, counselor, and consolation of the Holy Family in every need. And just as you were the model of, of piety, so you give us by your seal. Your earnestness and devote trust in God's providence, and especially for your by your love, the example of labor according to the will of God, the, char the cherished and the experienced common to family life and the sacred me memories of the life, sufferings and joy in the company of Jesus and Mary. Therefore, the family is dear to you as the work of God, and it is of the highest importance in your eyes to promote the honor of God and the well-being of men in your loving fatherliness and unfailing intercession you are the patron and intercessor of families and you deserve a place in every home saint joseph we thank god for your privilege of living in the holy family and being his head as a token of your own gratitude to god Obtain God's blessing upon my own family. Make our home the kingdom of Jesus and Mary, a kingdom of peace, of joy, and love. We also pray for all Christian families. Your help is needed in our day when God's enemy has directed his attack against the family in order to desecrate, desecrate and destroy it. In the face of these evils, as patron of families, we plead to help, be pleased to help, and ask of all, you arose to save the child and his mother. So today arise to protect the sanctity of the home Make our homes sanctuaries of prayer, of love, of patience, sacrifice, and of work. May they be modeled after your own at Nazareth. Remain with us with Jesus and Mary, so that by your help we may obey the commandments of God and of the church. Receive the holy sacraments of God and of the church. Live a life of prayer and foster religious instruction in our homes. Grant that we may be reunited in God's kingdom and eternally live in the company of the holy family in heaven. Saint Joseph, we, your unworthy children, greet you. 
You are the faithful protector and intercessor of all who love and venerate you. You know that we have special confidence in you and that after Jesus and Mary, we place all our hope of salvation in you. For you are a special powerful with God and will never abandon our faithful servants. Therefore, we humbly invoke you and commend ourselves with all who are dear to us and all that belong to us to your intercessions. We beg of you by your love for Jesus and Mary not to abandon us during this life and to assist us at the hour of our death. Amen. Please respond accordingly as we pray the litany of, of St. Joseph. Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy. Christ have mercy. Christ have mercy. Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy. Jesus hear us. Lord graciously hear us. God the Father of heaven. Have mercy on us. God the Son, Redeemer of the world. Have mercy on us. God the Holy Spirit. Have mercy on us. Holy Trinity, one God. Have mercy on us. Holy Mary, pray for us. Saint Joseph, renowned offspring of David, pray for us. Light of patriots, pray for us. Spouse of the Mother of God, pray for us. Chaste guardian of the Virgin, pray for us. Foster father of the Son of God, pray for us. Diligent protector of Christ, Pray for us. Head of the Holy Family. Pray for us. Joseph Most Just. Pray for us. Joseph Most Chaste. Pray for us. Joseph Most Burdened. Pray for us. Joseph Most Strong. Pray for us. Joseph Most Obedient. Pray for us. Joseph Most Faithful. Pray for us. Mirror of Patient. Pray for us. Love of Purity. Pray for us. Mother of our Pray for us. Glory of home life. Pray for us. Guardian of virgins. Pray for us. Healer of families. Pray for us. Solace of wretched. Pray for us. Hope of the sick. Pray for us. Patron of dying. Pray for us. Terror of demons. Pray for us. Protector of holy church. Pray for us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Spare us, O Lord. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grace us, hear us, O Lord. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. He made him the Lord of his household and prince and over all his possessions. Let us pray. See. O God, in your mercy, have you were, you were pleased, pleased to choose blessed Sosia to be the spouse, spouse of your most holy mother. Grant, Grant we beg you, you that we may be worthy to have seen our intercessor, intercessor in heaven, in heaven who whom on earth we venerate as our protector. You, you will live and reign forever and ever. ever. Amen. Amen. Saint Joseph, pray for us. Prayer to St. Joseph together, glorious. Let's see here. Father, Father of all Jesus, Jesus, Christ, Jesus Christ, to you do we raise our hearts and hands to you implore your powerful intercession in obtaining from the beginning the heart of Jesus all the help and grace necessary for our spiritual and temporal welfare particularly the grace of a happy death and the special favor we now implore. We pray for our safety and peace during this pandemic. We pray also for your help to guide all the activities and works of our Paris community. We are promised according to the will of God. O glorious Saint Joseph, spouse of the Immaculate Virgin, Obtain for us a pure, 
humble and adjustable mind and perfect resignation to the divine will be our guide for the model through life that may merit to die as you did in the arms of Jesus and Mary. Memory of St. Joseph, remember our most pure and spouse of Mary, ever virgin and my loving protector. Saint Joseph, that no one ever had reinforced of your protection or asked for your aid without obtaining relief, confiding, therefore, in your goodness, I come before you and humbly implore you, despise not my petition, foster father of the Redeemer, but graciously receive them. Amen. Please stand for the final blessing. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go in peace. Glorify the Lord by your life. Thanks be to God.